Hey guys, this is Austin Weeb here, and um, today's message is, uh, I guess, a little different than uh, most messages I do because usually I talk on a subject that is already done, it's already completed, it's already happened, it's already taken place. Today, I'm speaking more on something that is currently happening in my life, and uh, man, I just want to try and convey God's holiness to you and his authority over what's been going on in my life lately. So right now I'm going to share with you guys something that's been going on in my life. Okay. So as you can tell right now, uh, I'm in the hospital. Um, I've been here for a week now. Um, and, you know, it's just... It's crazy to me, um, just everything that's been going on. I just want to turn your attention to a God who is just holy, okay? I want you to think about this. Take a breath for me. <sighs> okay. God gave you that breath. You didn't do that on your own. Okay, God gives you life. He gives you breath and he gives you everything, right? So I just want you guys to know that right now, I didn't do that on my own, right? This pulse, it's not from me, right? It's not a gift to myself. I didn't do anything to deserve that. God himself is giving that to us. He's an amazing gift giver, okay? And, you know, uh, I'm in, like I said, I'm in uh, the hospital right now, but... Another thing I want to, uh, to say is I'm actually not here for my transplant quite yet. I do have cancer, but I'm not here for my transplant quite yet. Um, I'm actually here because of jaundice. Okay, so that's when your bilirubin count goes up and your eyes turn all yellow and your skin turns yellow and whatever. Um, that's why I'm here right now. Okay. Um, in fact, I think I should be discharged uh, any, any day now. So uh, what... Either, either that or today. But I just want to talk to you guys about the authority that God has. Okay. So the day after I was uh, admitted here, I heard that uh, my grandpa had just been diagnosed with terminal cancer. And I said he has about a week to live okay at least that's what I heard at the time so he has about a week to live and that was the day after I was admitted okay so I want to take you guys back to when this all started so uh, I myself uh, was diagnosed with cancer at on October 4th of 2021 last year okay and Shortly after I was diagnosed, I was told that one of my disorders had mutated into this cancer that I have, right? So we made the plans to start treating it with, um, to start treating it with uh, chemotherapy. So we got about halfway through the chemotherapy. Then I got, um, then I got something called CMV. It's a virus that attacks your body and um, I got about, and it was rough. I got, um, so it takes about 1 million copies per ml to, uh, of blood to kill someone. I had 3 million. Okay. Somewhere in there, my grandpa was also diagnosed with cancer. Okay. Now, after eight and a half months of me being in this CMV thing, that was over and I could continue my treatment. Um, my grandpa had a surgery done and he beat cancer, okay? So he beat cancer, I'm super stoked, I'm proud of him. Then, um, then I finished the treatments and then now I was diagnosed 
or I was I was told to um, I was told that I have jaundice. The day after I was admitted, my grandpa got cancer again. Only this time they said it's it's terminal, and uh, he's not expected to make it uh, very long, right? So he's they said he's got about a week to live. But get this, tomorrow is when I was supposed to have my central line put in. I was supposed to be admitted into hospital on November 2nd. My transplant was set for November the 8th. Now, I just got spoken to a few days ago about this. The doctor said, well, um, we want your counts to regulate. So what we're gonna do, is we're actually gonna push off your transplant for about three to four weeks. And you are going to, uh, you're just gonna go ahead and have to wait that out. And then we're gonna put you in then. So we're, we're not gonna have you in for right now. So I want you guys to catch what just happened there, okay? So my grandpa got diagnosed with terminal cancer. My transplant was supposed to start on November 2nd. And just carry through from there. But instead, God, in all his authority and all his wisdom, just went, no, we're going to push this off. We're gonna push this off three to four weeks. So I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna allow you to get something that's called jaundice. That's gonna push off your transplant so you can be there with your family during this time. And so you can go through all the thoughts and emotions in your head and stuff. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna, I'm gonna allow you to have jaundice. And then that's gonna push off your transplant, okay? Transplants, don't move, right? Transplants don't move. So like he just, <laughs> so once the date is decided, it's usually concrete, that's it. You're going through it no matter what. And now I get jaundice the week before it's supposed to start and that pushes it off for three to four weeks. So I can be there for my family with my grandfather who's um, who's terminal and yet it's rooted in tragedy right because I know what terminal means right I know what a week to, to live means right I get that I know that but guys you, you gotta understand what this means right God pushed off my transplant All this stuff, and you know, I was trying to trace it back to where all this might have started uh, last night, and I just, I just realized, like, man, I can't convey, I can't figure it out, like, like that would have had to have gone back to when I was born, well, before that even, that God would have had to have started to choreograph this whole thing, to, to began to orchestrate everything. Right, like this is just crazy to me. And, you know, it, it's, it's just crazy, you know. Um, and right now, um, you know, I, again, it's, it's rooted in tragedy, obviously, because, you know, I do understand what terminal means. Yeah, you know, I understand what a week to live means. But, you know, just to move all that stuff aside, for me, for me, okay, so I can go and be with my family right now. All of that stuff was moved aside, just, you know, God was watching things from heaven and he was going, okay, well, this is the day that I have decided 
that he's gonna, you know, uh, Austin's grandpa is gonna get terminal cancer. But to make sure that he has his mind right going into the rest of this transplant, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give him jaundice right now so that he can be more focused on the rest of the transplant and, and so that he can be there with his family. Man, are you serious? That's insane. Like God moved an entire transplant for me to be there. Are you kidding? That's just crazy to me. You know, the God who's been there with me through it all. You know, I, I don't say that to make you sad or anything. What I'm, what I'm saying is I want you guys to be, I want to turn glory to a God who's been there with me through everything, through everything, right? GI bleeds, okay? One GI bleed when I was a kid, a uh, month in a coma, uh, to a brain bleed, to diagnosis of Evans syndrome, uh, misdiagnosis of polyarthritis nodosa, um, you know, all the stuff, a brain bleed, seizures, everything. A God who has brought me through all of that, okay? A God who has brought me to being in the hospital in 2011 with uh, another GI bleed, some blood clots in my lungs, and all of this stuff, everything along the way he has been delivering me from. And I'm just looking at this and I'm going, God, you moved that for me? For me? For me. And, you know, here I am, just a little tiny piece of clay watching the potter as he slowly molds my life into what it is right now. Like, are you serious? And I'm just sitting here going, wow, that is so incredible. And the thing that gets me is that there are still some people that go, I don't, I don't like that God did that. Well, nobody asked you, right? I mean, nobody asked you. Nobody asked you for your permission. You're right. You know what? If you're in charge of everything that God's in charge of, chances are good. I, I wouldn't be able to be there for anything right now. But God's mercy and his grace just allows me to, this just, just stops cancer dead in its tracks so I can go and be with my family right now. And that's just crazy to me, right? Like, I, I still believe that the, um, the testings of Job still happen in the world today, not the testings of Job that that Job went through, but rather uh, similar testings, like the same kind of thing, where God kind of just goes, "All right, let's go ahead and um, you know what, Satan, you can you can do what you want to do with him, because I'm going to show you how pure his faith is, right? A purifying of the faith like that." And to just look at that, man, it's like the fact that people still look at that and they think, I don't like what he did there. It's like, well, I, sorry, I got to echo what what um, what God said in the book of Job early on, right? Where were you? Where were you when I stretched the measuring line for the earth? Where were you? Where were you when I dangled the plumb line, right? Like what, you think you could have orchestrated that better than God? Are you kidding me? Really? I mean, seriously, guys, this is something that I, I don't want you guys to right now to be um, too focused on my situation or anything like that. What I want to do is I want to turn glory to a God who has always been there for me in every single situation in my life. And he's always delivered me. And he's always giving me a reason to just shout his praises, right? Like that is just, oh man, that is so awesome. So guys, to have this kind of relationship, 
as a piece of clay, to have this kind of relationship where you can see the potter molding your life and you can see everything that he, his plan coming together in your life. Guys, there's nothing like it. And I just gotta say, you know, um, I, I do still believe that the, that testings similar to Job still happen. And, um, you know, where it's a purifying of your faith and uh, man, I just, I just gotta say guys, if you don't have this relationship with the potter, seriously, get on your knees and pray. Seriously, this is such an amazing situation right now. And again, it's rooted in tragedy. I mean, I know what terminal means, but you know, and after that, after all this is done, after I'm back on track, this is the same God who delivered me from the brain bleed, the GI bleeds, everything like that, who is gonna deliver me from the cancer as well, okay? Guys, I would love nothing more than for you guys to be able to see this the way I'm seeing it right now. It's just amazing. So guys, um, if you don't already have this kind of a relationship with the potter, just get on your knees, humble yourselves before the Lord, and yeah, just um, look at how much authority he has. I mean, he moved my bone marrow transplant so I could be at home. And it's the same God that did that that's gonna wipe out the cancer in a few months time. So take care, God bless, and I'll see you guys next time.